high volley 314 reactor here and as in the description and to the link leading you here it should have told you not to uh, watch this video unless you've seen Endgame and Far From Home so if you're still here and you haven't go see them and stop watching this video because there may be some minor spoilers for those two films okay you guys still here? cool so I've decided to make the Edith glasses from Spider-Man Far From Home and also ones that Stark wore in Infinity War and Endgame. So I went on eBay and got this lovely pair of glasses which was very cheap and they're really high quality as well. I've made it using a Raspberry Pi Zero W, a small LCD screen and a tiny little lens that you'll see on VR headsets. This is to focus the screen onto the lens so you can actually see it when it's very close to your face. It's got a nice little battery on there, PowerBoost uh, 500C from Adafruit, so it can power it and also recharge like a normal mobile phone using USB micro. It's also got a quite a bulky USB sound card on there because obviously the Pi Zero does not have audio out or microphone in, so you have to expand that out, which is a bit unfortunate, but hey. So the abilities of this are, it can take photos, it can use PyTorch to analyze who's in those photos using a pre-trained net, so you can uh, train it to recognize faces. It also has a news scraper built in, so you can request the news and it will bring back all the latest headlines and speak them into your ear. It also has my chatbot built into it, so you can have a talk with it if you want, if you pre-train it with a few responses and stuff. And I think the coolest thing is that I've implemented Wolfram Alpha in it. And Wolfram Alpha is a computational answer engine, so you can fire off requests to it and it'll bring back answers to things like how much is the population of the UK, what's the hottest temperature ever in the US, and also stuff like how large is the Earth. So what happens is I use speech to text to bring in the information on that, and then it sends it off to the server, brings back the answer, and then it uses text to speech to speak it to the ear, and or display it on the tiny display here. Now the great thing is, is that it's very expandable, so pretty much anything that can be done with Python or the internet or over your network, you could use it to wake on LAN PCs over your network using voice, like I did with my Pi Badge project. You can use the camera for all sorts of things, so you can get live video from it and then pass it off to a server somewhere. It's not quite at the point where it can call in drones from an orbital platform, but it's, it'll get there one day. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. The only trouble is it's a bit bulky, but there's a limit to what you can do with consumer hardware really, and unfortunately this bit can't be folded in anymore but some concessions had to be made just to get that screen just right with the lens there. So let's try and take a look at this close up. Unfortunately, it's quite hard to because uh, obviously it's meant to be worn on the face, so it's kind of hard to show through a camera, but I can sort of show you how it's built and kind of what the screen looks like. So let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at this up and close. So you can see there's the screen, the text is written backwards, so obviously when it's reflected through the lens and onto the glasses, it's the right way around. You can see it's uh, got a lot of hot glue on there just to keep it all held together and the rather large battery is taped on there. It's a bit heavy. Uh, I had to put some blue tack onto these bits because they were too smooth and kept sliding off my nose because of the weight. But the blue tack seems to be sticky enough to keep it attached to my nose. I may find a better solution for that in the future. As you can see, there's the sound card which enables the audio in and audio out. And there's the power switch on the 500C there which allows you to charge the battery just like you would a normal mobile phone using USB micro and of course there's a nice heat sink on there just to keep it cool. So yeah it's just on the menu there you can use that to request the functionality that you want. Okay so I'm going to do an example of the Wolfram engine here. I've got it attached to a speaker and I'm just going to ask it a simple question and we'll see what it can do. First we'll go to the menu. Menu. What would you like to do? Query. As you can see there it says ask a question which is obviously backwards, so it can be read in the lens when it's reflected. And let's go ahead. What is the population of the UK? 66.2 million people, world rank. 21st, 2017 estimate. So there you go, it's just brought that information back from Wolfram Alpha. So you can also get the news off of this, so let's go ahead and get that. News. Boris Johnson pledges pound 3.6 pm boost for deprived towns, The Guardian. Mass roll breaks out on P&O cruise ship Britannia BBC News. Hong Kong protesters hurl bricks as police fire tear gas at band march against triad behavings Sky News. That's enough of those depressing headlines. As you can see in here, uh, it can display the information. Obviously it wouldn't be through uh, the speakers, it'd be 
sent through the earphones, only the user will be able to hear it. And it can also display some information on the tiny LCD screen there. There's a lot of room for expansion. So you'll be able to attach it to hopefully Bluetooth devices like a phone one day. That's what I'm hoping to get it to do. I don't know if there are any APIs for Android or Apple phones, but we'll have to see about that as well as pretty much anything internet of things. So you could have like, I don't know, a random sensor in your fridge and it could uh, inform these glasses and they can tell you. Also be cool to get some like 3G access or 4G access on these, because at the moment they are reliant on Wi-Fi. So yeah, it has plenty of room for expandability, which I'm very excited about. Pretty much anything that can be done with Python or network access you can do with these glasses. And again, it's all hands-free and I can walk around pretending I'm Tony Stark, which is awesome. So. Please check out the description, Hacks the Electromaker, my blog and my Twitter are all down there. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'm always making new projects all the time, inspired by science fiction and especially Marvel, Star Trek, stuff like that. I'm a real nerd, so go check it out. Thanks.